Hi everyone. Happy Saturday. Do insects stick on walls? Obviously the answer will be. Yes they can, but do you know why? Then watch this out. Numerous insects, such as common houseflies, as well as certain amphibians and reptiles, tree frogs and geckos, for example, are able to walk on and cling to seemingly smooth surfaces including glass doors and windows. This trick is accomplished not by suction cups or adhesives but rather by a large number of tiny bristles or hairs on the bottom surface of the animal's feet. Scientists have produced scanning electron microscope images of these bristles. Surfaces that appear perfectly smooth to us actually have many microscopic bump and fissures, which serve as footholds for the tiny hairs. Certain insects have specialized feet that enable them to defy gravity and walk in places that seem to be impossible to cling to. Stiff hairs, natural adhesives and large claws all come into play to enable the insect to walk on smooth, upright or upside-down surfaces. Puvili or Aurolia, flies have two foot pads on each foot that are covered with a perpetual adhesive made by the fly's foot itself. These pads are called puvili, also known as Aurolia, and they are covered with a special natural glue made from sugars and oils. This mixture is strong enough to carry the body of the insect as he traverses the obstacles in his path. There is just enough of this glue to correspond with the insect's size. Setae, the foot pads are covered with tiny hairs that have flattened, hollow tips. These specialized hairs are known as setae and they are the shoots through which the adhesive oils and sugars are transmitted to the pad of the foot. Each time the foot comes into contact with the surface, the adhesive on the foot pads connects and clings to that surface. This is why flies tend to leave small, greasy footprints wherever they go. Two large claws, each foot has a pair of large claws the fly uses to remove his feet from the wall or ceiling, enabling him to walk even though his feet are stuck to the surface. To lift the foot, the fly presses down with the claws and twists the foot a little to remove it from the surface. Each step taken involves this process, which can be accomplished so rapidly, the insect doesn't even appear to pause while walking. Tiny hairs on foot, insect feet often have microscopic bristle-like hairs, that are stiff enough to find the small inconsistencies in surfaces. Most ceiling and wall materials such as wood, drywall, ceiling tile and even concrete and glass, have very tiny pits and holes, making them porous. Insects can feel the holes and pits in the surface and grab into them with the stiff hairs on the bottoms of their feet. This keeps the insect tethered to the surface.